What's going on and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over Retro, which is part of the Offensive Security Pathway in TryHackMe. The machine is Windows. It is marked as kind of difficult, as you can see from the uh, colored bar here. But I don't think it is difficult. But the thing is, it is kind of realistic OSCP machine. It's not city of style. So the if you know the methodology, most probably you're going to be able to solve it. So if you click on that, we're going to so here we're required to find three flags, one in the, on the web server and the others, the other two are on the machine once you have access. So we deploy the machine and we get started. The first thing we do all the time is to do the in-app scan. We have, as you can see, make sure that you put the dash pn switch when you do the in-map scan since the machine does not respond to being requests. So you need to instruct in-map not to use ping scans. So basically, I have got two open ports. One is a web server and the other is remote desktop. Basically, there are two distinct pathways, just distinct paths to solving this machine. The first one is with, with Meterpreter or using Metasploit. Uh, and from Metasploit, we're going to be able to find an exploit to gain uh, takeover on the machine. The other one is by uh, taking the path of WordPress reversal and then getting access to the Windows machine, and from that point, you're going to fire up Windows Exploit Suggester and find an exploit for the machine. Okay, let's take, let's do it both ways. But the first way, I'm going to go over the WordPress method, okay? And in the second way, I'm going to go over the uh, non-WordPress way or the non-interpreter. Okay, so first, let's do the exploitation by exploiting the WordPress. So let's navigate now to the web server. Okay. So see here we have the IP. Send, send, one, two, two. A typical ideal IIS web page. Nothing to do here. We're going to fire up directory search. So from here, and the word list. Word lists. Oh, seems seems like I have got some error here. New buster. Word lists. Okay, now we will use the medium one as always. Okay, now I'm going to leave this running, but when it has finished, you will see that there is a directory called retro. It has been found. I will be found. Retour, retro. Let's check on directory search. What happened here? Let's see. I'm able to connect. 10, 10, 122, it is 3 here, so we made a typo. All right, so what do we see here? We see a typical web page for playing games. Okay, so normally you would go over the page, you would enumerate everything, use the page source, you would click on the post, try to find some clue uh, without knowing that it is a WordPress. Now, there is a post here, so there is a post I have found here, which is, um, let me guess, I don't remember, let me try to find, no, let's check out the posts, 
there was that one post that or from which I have found a username and password. Let's try to find it. Hello word, ready player, this one. So if you check out this post, you see it is written. Actually, all the posts uh, have been written by the user Wade. Okay, so this is typically the username of the WordPress installation. Now, we don't know yet that it's WordPress. Okay, if you're doing this for the first time, you just see that there is a user called Wade. And if you scroll down, you see a page called Login. If you click on that page, you will be redirected to the login page, which is a WordPress. So you know from here, from that point onward, that you're gonna enumerate WordPress. The username is Wade, okay? And you see here, there's a comment that is written by the user. It's saying, leaving myself a note here, just in case I forget how to spell it. Parzival. So if you take Parzival and you try to log in as Wade and the user password is Parzival, you will be granted access, I guess. Let's try. All right, now. You know what you're going to do here, the methodology is once you get access to our control panel, you're going to just get, uh, try to gain a reversal or put a reversal to gain a connection back from the machine. So what we would do typically, we would upload a plugin, modify a plugin or modify our theme file. Personally, I prefer, go, I prefer to go edit uh, theme files. So my preferred one is the 404 page. Oh, no. And here is the 404 and close this one or keep it. Oh, I shouldn't have closed this. Okay. So here let's do sudo msf venom dash p php. Okay, yeah. Let's take this. Say this, you run and get back. Replace this. Hope this will work. And it worked. Okay. ID or get your ID. The username is I user, which is the seems to be the the web server user I I S. Okay. What is next now? We can drop the shell always and see. Uh, who my slash grev clear this is a Windows machine you know so we use who my slash grev to understand the privileges of the current user all right in the desktop here I'm gonna say ls cd tools and we'll use Windows Explorer suggester All right, first we need to get the system info from here. So say, uh, through the channel, yes. Okay, system info.
right? So All right, so as you can see, no matter what I do, whenever I type the system info, there is no output displayed back from the shell, which uh, which is odd, basically, because I tried this, and I was able to retrieve the output of this command and various other commands. But basically, something wrong happened, and I can't retrieve the output of any command here from this. Therefore, I'm not going to be able to reproduce the step of um, uh, getting the exploit from Windows Exploit Suggester. So, but I'm going to tell you what is the command to use, right? And if, if in case it worked for you, right? And what to do. So basically, here you will get an output from System Info displaying the System Info, right? Grab a copy from it and put it in a text file called System Info. Then launch the exploit through the Python Windows. Export suggester and then dash dash database. The database is the database file uh, of the script which does exist in the same directory. So you would type 2020 something and this is here, this one. Next, we will have to provide the system info which we grabbed from here. So you type dash dash system info and here the text file that you have created right this text file contains the output of this command very clear right i hope this is very clear now the output of this will contain the enumeration of the suggested exploits that you may try against the um, target as you can see session died it's not stable for some reason all right i'm going to head over now <coughs> to the exploit the exploit is mts16075 so basically here we would go to google MS 016.075 and see if we can find something on GitHub. So basically, I got this. So you will go over this page and download the exploit, uh, the executable here, potato.exe, directly to the target host, target uh, the remote host, using the upload command from interpreter, or you would use the Metasploit module. Of course, in my case, the connection was not stable using the WordPress, but that's the first way you would get or you elevate your privileges. Now, let's go over the second way, which is the one I liked. Let me close the interpreter. Exit by clear. As you know, we had a port open for the RTB. So we would connect with RTB to so our desktop. The machine IP is 10.233.20. That's you. The user is wait. Yes. What do we have here? Well, in this case, I'm going to use another client. So clear to so the X3 RDB. We have this. Okay. Now the user slash you let's wait. Let's define the version so we don't get SSL errors or the no, it's not the version, but I think okay, 10, 10, 233, 20.
we trust your certificate above yes password and the password is you know use the password on this page right it works both for wordpress and for the rdb connection let's check it out and this is the user wait now you would log in to rdb and this session is equivalent to the session we have established with meterpreter the unstable one now here we're going to demonstrate the second way of routing the machine. So basically we got user flag, let's take user flag and paste it here. What's that? Again, it's not pasting. Anyway, take the user flag and paste it in the... Uh... Okay. Let's see, so what do we do here? So basically, Let's open coin prompt. So type system info. Now we would, again, we would feed this output to Windows Express Suggester and we'd also use the MS16 um, 0.75. But in this case, there is another exploit to, to for this version, which is Windows, um, Windows Server 2016. The version is 10.0.14.393. So here we go to Google and say on this server 2016, what was the version? 10 0 Yes, that's it. So here is one. This is CGE 2017-0144, but I didn't try this one. Just normally in GitHub we would find stuff. So here we have two. I would go with payloads, all the things, and see here the kernel exploits. Since we are exploiting the version, we are looking for a kernel exploitation. So what do we have here? We have a couple of vulnerabilities. So normally, normally in a typical scenario, you cannot go ahead and try every single one of them on the production environment. You would need to replicate uh, on your machine, right? And try every single one of them. The one that worked is this one, 2017 020 so click on that one and let's head back to see the x64 then we download the x64 one to my machine okay let's launch python Server server and we're running. Take this to desktop. And on the target machine, let's launch our browser. Let's see the file name. Let's unzip the file. So we have this. Let's download this one. I'll try to access it. Oh god, no, it's not gonna copy paste. Oh, correct. Okay. Keep. Now simply, let's see the download path. It is in downloads. Let's take it over to desktop. So simply now we're going to execute this. No. Okay. So 
So here back CMD. CMD. All right, fine. But at least copy this for me. CMD Windows users. Right, this is the file. Let's execute it. So here we have a new prompt type for my and you are net authority system. Now that is the second way of routing the machine. Now there is a third way, okay? The third way is kind of convoluted. So it requires a bit of research and a bit of mangling. So let me show you how to do that. So basically in, this, in the history here, if you go to the history, normally when you hack a machine, you would look in the history, but I can't find an history here. Uh, all right, no problem, because I found this in the history. There was a search or lookup on a vulnerability, an exploit, sorry. That's how I found the third way. Okay, let me refer you to how to find the third exploit. So let's go back here. Now, this is the CV 2017-0223. We tried this. Let's get back to other kernel exploits and look for one that dates back to 2019. There is none here. What is this one? Okay, there must be some exploit here. I found this. Well, this one. So here is we download an executable file and we launch it. But most importantly is to understand how this exploit works. So let me explain to you how this exploit works. First, let's download this. Download. And we get the file on the, the uh, local machine. Now we hit back. Let's close this. 
Yes. So search for Bitbag here and uh, check my IP address one more time. So let's transfer the file over. Where is the exploits? Where are you? So many stuff. I need to clean this actually. Starts with page. Okay. Copy that over to desktop, your desktop. And here, try to download this. So it is downloading. Say keep and move this over to desktop. Excellent. Now close Google Chrome, open both Chrome and Internet Explorer. So let's see how this works. Basically, we can attempt to run this exploit as an administrator. It's going to ask for the password. We don't have a password, of course. We're going to click on show more details. And from here, show information about the publisher certificate. So we're going to need to click on this link. Why? We need to open a, open a system, not just a process. We need to open a browser window using this exploit. Now, if we are able to open a browser window from this exploit, it is going to be open as system. and. When we open the browser window, we're going to open the common prompt right from the browser window so we can escalate the privileges. That's how it works. So click on that. Say Internet Explorer. Click on OK. Now here, as you can see, it's going to try to fetch the page, but doesn't matter. Now, this process is opened as system. OK, we need to convert this into a controller system command prompt. So basically, let's Save as, save as, save as, save as, where is save as? Well, save, set as, nope. Let's try control S. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here, guys, instead of saving the file, we're going to navigate to system32 and say display all the files okay we press enter and from here we're going to scroll down and select the cmd find it so here it is yeah, it is here, but it is, <laughs> where are you? I wouldn't do this, let's go down, find it ourselves. So here is the CMD, we need to select this. Okay, and right click, click on open. So if you type who am I now? It is not authority system. That's the third way of routing the system. Finally, we are interested in finding the flag. See the C. No, oh, doesn't exist. I can't type it.
this is the root flag. Let me try to copy that. Mark. It doesn't copy, sir. Okay, no problem. Now that is how to do the machine. Basically, the machine is not hard, but uh, the, the the complexity here is there are many ways to root the machine, and that's how that's the cool thing about it. Okay, now that was for today, and see you in the next video.